Hello and welcome back to Life with Massey and Nisha, the YouTube channel all about living your best life with your pet. Isn't that right, Nisha? Living it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There are a few reasons why I give Nisha massages. First of all, it's a really nice way to build a relationship and teach her to be calm and relaxed around me. Also, being a high energy and high drive working dog means she gets exercised every single day. And she does do a lot of, you know, jumping, running, lateral movements, hard stops. She does components of agility in her training. And obviously when she's doing work on the rubble, rubble moves underneath you. So there is lots and lots of potential for injury. Um, so I just like to make sure that she's, you know, warmed up, supple and moving freely as well. Um, I just like to stretch her out a little bit just to make sure that I can identify if she is stiff and then I can follow up with the appropriate professionals. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I give Nisha a massage um, and I will talk you through it as well. This is a, you know, exercise or something that we do to build our relationship. So it's based on consent. Um, if she doesn't consent to me doing something, I'm not going to do it. And so that means if she's more comfortable sitting up, then I work with that. She's just having a sniff of my face. Just starting with her face. So this is what I do when I want her to relax and calm down. I just run my palms. It's quite gently. There's not a lot of pressure um, along her face and then also around her ears. And if you can see, she's really, really enjoying that. And so as you can see, I'm putting a bit of pressure on. Um, I've just cupped my hands around, I guess, her, her jaw. I'm not digging in or anything, but I'm just using that to anchor the point to rub the top of her head, see, over, over her eyebrows. So yeah, now I'm just warming up her back, just with long, fluid strokes. the sides of the spine not directly about that far away I just rub in circular motions and here I'm focusing on her shoulders because um she does a lot of high impact stuff just because she's absolutely nuts and jumps all the time and jumps up, jumps down. <clears throat> so I, she really enjoys having her um, shoulders and elbows massaged. If your dog flinches, moves away, starts licking your hands or um, Nisha's just licking me because she's grooming herself. So she thought, mum, you need to be clean too. But you know, sometimes they, they are not so obvious signals like, um, you know, maybe a lot of lip licking, a lot of yawning. Um, with Nisha, I know that some lip licking is normal, as you can see, and she's not bothered by it at all. But in terms of like, if she puts her nose on my hand, then I'll stop. She's enjoying herself for the time being. And this is a good time. You see, she's not comfortable with me touching her paws. And that's okay because um, she in particular, if you see her nails, doesn't like getting her nails clipped. There you go. She's licking my hand. Yeah, it's okay. I won't touch them again. It's okay. Zen. So because she does a lot of high impact stuff, I always like to massage around the joints, not manipulate the joints or anything like that, but just to make sure that the joints um, or the muscles around the joints have good blood flow, um, just to protect her from sustaining any injuries um, and ensure that she's able, or her, her muscles are able to support her in the activities that she does. There's no tightness in there. But I just kind of come in from the front and I wouldn't be, um, pushing around the joint too much but I just wanted to show you that it's not I'm not putting any pressure on it and it's quite loose so I start off by at the front and just extending her leg a little bit and so 
at the top where the muscles the thickest I go a bit I go a bit harder and then I lessen the pressure going down and then on both sides just rolling my thumbs over the um, the shoulder muscle I'm just going to check for her range of movement and just give her a little bit of a stretch and there's literally just no um, no kind of pressure it's just I'm just seeing how far she stretches out and I'm just holding and supporting her Now I'm going to do a similar thing to the back leg. Yeah? Okay, you want me to. <laughs> so I just had to stop there because she was just looking at me like, excuse me. So I just wanted to make sure that she was okay with me touching her legs. And also if your dog is okay with you touching them and then all of a sudden they're not, that can indicate things like... Um, you know, some arthritis or some joint pain or some kind of tenderness or injury. And again, just this kneading motion on either side of the leg. Still, you know, giving that area a massage so the blood is flowing through it. And again, I'm not going to be touching her feet because she wasn't happy with me last time I did that. Just getting in there and with both hands and just getting my knuckles in because I'm just using a moderate amount of pressure over the largest portion of her thigh. Now I'm just focusing on her hip with the palms of my hands, just running them over. And now I'm also going to see if Misha's okay with us doing some hip stretches. So, yeah. So I'm just guiding the leg back here. So Misha decided she was so zenned out that it was time to go to sleep. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it inspired you to do something a little bit different on your journey to living your best life with your pet. See you next time.